All right, boys and girls, Mr. Nefis reacted to my Microsoft video with some concerns, and I think he's pretty legit with a lot of the stuff he says, but there is some stuff I do want to clear up. Uh, so yeah, we're going to watch that, and we're going to have a little chat. I guess we'll watch, I'll watch it again first with you guys, and then I'll talk about it, and what I think about it, and why I think this is kind of like sus. But yeah, let's go with it. Uh, sus, okay, well, boys and girls. <laughs> I, I feel like, I don't know if it's just me, but this gives me like the, like, oh, my dad is Bill Gates, you know, he knows everything about Microsoft, kind of <laughs> Wish like, I had that Gates, buddy. I don't buddy. know why, first off, a Microsoft employee would know anything about layoffs or anything about that at ZeniMax Online Studios, which is, like, I, I, I just don't get it. And secondly, why would a Microsoft employee that somehow knows about ZeniMax Online Studios HR stuff tell JTK about this? <laughs> I feel like there's two scenarios going on here. Or okay, let's say there's three scenarios going on. So real quick, he does play ESO. He is part of the community. He does hang around in streams and stuff. So why he told me and me specifically, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, it's not like some random Microsoft person come to me. Yeah. On here. The first scenario is the person who's telling JTK all this is pulling his fucking leg and somehow possible uh, that's possible i don't know what kind of verific verification process went went around here with him being confirmed to have worked at microsoft or ex-employee at microsoft. unless he forged stuff and photos that he sent me he i can did confirm he works at microsoft. microsoft or whatever okay second scenario is it's a lie <laughs> like i don't know yeah no nah, i woke up that morning i was like what what can I make up to get clicks? God damn, I would have come up with something more exciting than this. Third scenario is it's true. I have really serious misgivings about this being true. And I'll explain in a bit after we listen to uh, the rest of the thing. But immediately, I think it's pretty sus. I think it's shaky. Uh, the whole thing with mysterious anonymous sources of information and somehow being, I don't know, it's just... So I'm going to give Nephis the benefit of the doubt and say that he didn't deliberately leave it out and he just went to the description and clicked on the timestamp that was in the uh, description. But at the very start of the video and just before he starts playing this video, I, I say that. I explain that it's, you know, one person saying this stuff that wants to remain anonymous. And yes, he is right. It is shaky and it has to be taken for what it is. And I, I said that twice in the video, it's just left out of his video. And I think that's pretty much the only thing that annoyed me was the fact that it was left really out. Really weird to me, but whatever, let's keep going. Maybe I'm wrong. And you know, I think that's gonna be my main point here. If you don't like, if you don't know the exact nature of the thing you're being told or you're, not sure what it means or that this mysterious benefactor or whatever kind of scenario this is hasn't happened yet i don't think you should be making a video or like capitalizing on this unless it is somehow and that's fair i i went back uh back and forth over three or four days i reached out to other content creators and asked them if by had anyone reached out to them and told them the same thing um, I decided not to make the video, then I did, then I didn't, and then I did. Uh, so, yeah. True, which I don't really get the vibe of. I just don't. So I'm a little skeptical. And I think and you, way I, I, you should be. Like, you should be skeptical. Uh, I would prefer with a content creator is, okay, here's what a new site or some sort of uh, public source said. Or, hey, here's a teaser trailer. Or, hey, here's what this guy from this company said to this person in an interview or something like that. Any verifiable source of information. And then you can run with it. You can speculate, honestly. Like, and then you can That's fair. Um, but the other side of that is there's a lot of reporting and journalism that happens where sources remain anonymous. So it's not necessarily uncommon. Your sources on that. And I just... Uh, maybe it's the academic in me, but uh, I just don't like this sort of stuff. Um, I'm not accusing JTK of anything here. I'm just saying, like, well, this is pretty fucking sus. They, 
They don't care. Now, that's my... <laughs> this is so weird, watching Nefis react to me. It's just need someone else to react to the react to read the reaction. And that's just my personal opinion. Interview of the conversation I had with this person, I did press him for more information. So I asked if he could give me names of people that were leaving. He didn't want to do that. Also, I asked that did they know like is this a known thing at Zenimax that there will be quite a few people moving on and he did tell me that there was some people at Zenimax that were aware of what was going to happen he wouldn't give me names or anything like that so who knows if it's just one person at Zos that knows this or if it's quite well known who knows I don't know guys what what do you think do you now this is the first thing I want to clear up this is my bad. I do say Zenimax in the video, but he said ESO. They'll be moving on from ESO. So that was my mistake. Uh, I think a lot of people too kind of think Zenimax is like work on ESO and that's the only game they do and so on and so on. But obviously they're a much bigger company than that. So yeah, I do want to clear that up. That he said ESO, Believe not this Zenimax. Leaks information, do you think that it is going to be good for the game? Because that is the next thing. Like, what's that mean for for ESO? Pers let's retrace back a few steps here. Okay, so let's assume this is a source of information that we're getting our information or leaked news from. Um, it doesn't make sense that they would certainly lay off a large amount of people or move around too many people right now. Uh, as I covered in my previous video with ZeniMax's new IP coming out, they're having- This is another thing too. I think maybe the way I worded it, but I think Nephis thinks I'm talking like a lot, a lot of people. Um, maybe that's my bad with the way I worded it, but he wasn't specific whether it was five people or 20 people or whatever. A lot of trouble hiring people there's there's 200 spots that were just filled for the new ip uh for eso they're still struggling to hire coders and programmers we'll skip there a are bit here in a minute websites, however he goes they are that off uh, from former elsewhere. employees or whatever these review sites like glassdoor and stuff like that that people are complaining or some people have complained about like the uh pay at zos for certain spots were below the average of the industry standard for that kind of uh, job or technical job. Um, I would say, again, Zoss is looking for employees. I don't know why they would just suddenly lay off the lead developer. Just be aware, I did just cut out a heap of his video. So if you haven't seen it, go check it. He does talk about some other stuff. Apartments and stuff like that. Or even a few select people. Um, I think there's something going on here in terms of people trying to cope with shit. I know that there was a recent tweet made by Rich Lambert that didn't go over so well with a lot of people. I get that. It was, it was, uh, and, you know, I have a lot of opinions about that too. Um, and I personally, I just think the whole thing is kind of stupid on, on, the, on both sides. But uh, again, like according to this article, that is literally- So funny enough, the video I actually had planned for today was gonna be talking about kind of Rich and about how the community pretty much blames him and a lot of people think it's his fault that the game's gone in the direction it has and there's probably no doubt he's had a part to play in it but obviously it's a way bigger fucking situation than one person there's failings probably throughout the company uh, for things like this to happen and you don't know what they're told to do you know it doesn't matter if you've got the best devs in the world if they're told to do something and not to do other things then there's nothing they can do so I, I think it is a little bit stupid that people point the finger towards him and think that everything will be magically solved if Rich was to move on. But at the same time, I do understand why people do that because he is the one that puts himself out there uh, where a lot of other Zoss employees don't. So, you know, people are going to put their anger where they can. It's a bit like people blaming players for running cheesy builds or doing shitty things in the game instead of you know blaming zos for the ones that enable that kind of stuff 
Um, and it's because the player's there. They can talk to the player. They they can't talk to Zoss. So I, I understand it. It doesn't make it right, but I do understand why people think that. Examining how many spots there are at Zoss and how many people are being hired, they could hire around 700 developers by the end of the year. By this 2022, by end of 2022, and then suddenly, like, there's going to be a massive shift in January, February, March in 2023. It doesn't make sense to me at all because okay, yeah, I, for development. once again, I I don't know if the the guy that leaked the information is talking these kinds of numbers. I I don't know, and that's half the problem and why you've got to take this kind of stuff for a grain of salt. They're looking for people. A lot of people really don't understand how small the game development industry really is. And I just think this source of information JTK is getting all this shit from, it's like, really? I don't know. Like, definitely take it with uh, a grain of salt, a huge grain of yeah, salt, a block 100%. of salt, in my opinion. Because I just think, uh, again, going back to what I said earlier, a p big part of it is copium. And you can tell from the comments on this video, like this guy, Rich, Rich Lambert leaving would be the best patch since years. Zoss needs better devs. I, 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 I genuinely think that's pathetic. Like, <laughs> like this, this hope or desire. I don't know about like pathetic, but want yeah. of someone specific in the public face or on, as a public face of the company or whatever or whatever uh, you conceive as a devs. I think that's honestly pathetic that people are clinging on to this kind of like desire to have or see people fired or what they perceive to be a, a, like a transgression against their personal uh, wants. Am I on, am I happy with? It's it's just the instant when people like people love this game and when they see it getting destroyed, they get mad. And are they rational about it? No. Uh, are people a lot of the time rational on the internet? No. It is it it is a little bit the weird. Game, no, I'm not. But I'm not gonna be like, oh man, I hope he gets fired. That's fucked up. <laughs> and I think the reason why people are giving this video so much credit is because oh my god. I want to see this happen, or I want to see it crash and burn. I think there is caution to be had here in terms of like, don't you know, fall for it because you want to believe in it for sure. Um, and a hundred percent. And like, I I thought I made it pretty clear in the video. Obviously, he didn't show it, but I made it pretty clear that you know you've got to take this for a grain of salt. And I yes, I'll say that again because obviously. <laughs> It isn't getting through somewhere along the line. Uh, and and he, is, he is correct, I think. Like, a lot of people, they they want this to be true. They it, It's a little bit like Ashes, in a way. Like, everyone wants it to be a good game, but you've got to be weary that, you know, it might not be. And it's the same thing here. Like Judging from some of the comments here. But again, maybe it's true. Uh, but even if it's, it is true, I would rather cover it Personally, I as news when it happens rather than this wild speculation based on some unknown entity giving me information or giving people information. All right, I, I think we can wrap it up here. Um, and he, he's correct, like, and I understand his point of view. Like, as I said, I went back and forth for whether I should post this video, and still, I am unsure whether I should have posted it. So, him, him having that stance, I guess, is, is fair. I just, I think the main reason I want to make this video is I, I just don't think he represented the video in its full by cutting, well, not showing the parts where I say you've got to be very cautious about this. Time, time will tell, I guess, but do, you've got to be wary. Like, you know, as much as you may want this to be true, like, just take it for what it is. Um, when February rolls around and it happens, then GG, if it rolls around and doesn't happen, then who knows? And it, people moving on can be a bad thing because less staff, like it doesn't automatically mean good things. So I think we need to be aware of that as well. But anyway, boys and girls, um, I will probably cut quite a bit of my video and his video out of this video. So if things don't quite make sense because you haven't seen them, go watch them and thirst before you watch this uh telling you at the end of the video that's smart yeah um well it's fucking 5 a.m in the morning <laughs> all right guys i love you i'll catch you in the next one peace